Mark Hannon's a single 24-year-old programmer with a big heart in the Big Apple, but his friendly demeanor has only taken him so far in this fast-paced dating scene of New York City. It felt very, like, very formal conversation. He has one day left to take his interactions to the next level. Why are those people playing? Yeah. There. Will Mark step up to the plate and learn to lead, or will he forever be a victim of the friend zone? I'm Anthony Resinello, and I help men meet their soulmates. I don't teach pickup lines or manipulation. This is about the journey to becoming the real you, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get you there. This is The Wingman. So how was last night? It was okay, okay. It could have been better, <laughs> but uh, went to Bowery Electric to try to talk to girls, which I think in retrospect might not have been the best idea because it's like, uh, I don't know, very loud music and like dance floor-y scene. So did you talk to anybody? I went up and like asked girls they wanted a drink. Uh, it was yeah. not successful with, okay. <laughs> with any of them. All right. But like I had friends there who were like coaching me through it. Yeah. And were like, yeah, like go try that girl now. I go and like to ask them if they want a drink or anything yeah. and was never successful. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just glad that you got yourself out there and pushed yourself. I mean, I, I can't say this enough, but so much of what men need to do these days is just to like lose the fear and say, I just gotta go and do it. Most people are just on Tinder. I'm serious, it's yeah. like, it's not even like a joke anymore. Most people are just swiping. Yeah. Nobody's talking to each other. So the fact that you're just doing it, buddy, it's like, it's amazing. And, terrifying, and but. <laughs> it's okay that it's terrifying because you'll get over that quick. That's just a habit type thing. I said five, five I, people. How I, many people did, did you talk three. to? Three. Three. I tried and That's then okay. I couldn't do any. <laughs> That's okay. And so you said, got you said like most of it was you were just asking if you could buy women drinks and. I would go try that. And I typically like, no, we're good. <laughs> no, we're <And> good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. I, I am glad that you just pushed yourself. It's hard to do. Okay. Stressful. I, don't, I think you're actually gonna do a lot better today. Let's find somebody nice that you think is attractive and have you talk to somebody and let's just see, okay? Yeah. Sounds good. All right, cool, let's go. So, how are you guys doing? We're good, we're waiting for a friend, we're about to go to lunch. Oh, nice, a little Sunday lunch. Yeah. Sunday fun day? Yeah. <laughs> very nice, very nice. It was good, yeah, it, was it wasn't terrible. Yeah. What'd you guys take, Central Park or Washington Square Park? Central. Okay. Favorite spot at Central Park? I actually haven't explored it that Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of small talk. Yes, a lot of small talk. Where do you guys live? Yeah? Are you sure for the weekend? Yeah, we are. Oh, cool. How do you like it? It's fine. She used to live here. Like last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Nashville. How's Nashville? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not like, uh, no. didn't seem too great. I guess go past small talk. Yeah, to, to go past level. small talk. And then he could ask if he, if like she has a boyfriend or something. Yes. And then get her number or ask her to dinner. What do you guys study? Um, I'm studying fashion merchandising. Awesome. Yeah, like relations. Very cool. I feel like, what do you guys want to do with that after? Um, or is that too, is that <laughs> something you don't want to think about right now? I think I like guys that are more forward. Or like find something she's interested in and then be like, oh, well, we can go and do you want to go do that? The whole idea of saying, like actually being, like you saying they're pretty, asking for the number and doing that, I feel like that's always like a blocker in my mind of, I think that's creepy. Thanks. Nice. When do you guys graduate? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind staying in school. <laughs> TBD, just keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> stay in Nashville, forever. stay alone forever. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I always do the, like, be friends with them, just the friendly talk, but I don't know how to actually flirt with them and get them to like me. Yeah, being a student is a bad Yeah, I agree, I miss it. Yeah. I feel like you kind of, it's cool because I don't have, like, student loans anymore. Um, <laughs> or, like, I don't have, like, yeah. that, like, piling on, yeah. but... <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I have real responsibilities, which is kind of yeah. <laughs> a pain. Confidence <laughs> we is don't key, have any confidence is key. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool. Well, I think I'm gonna roll. Uh, <laughs> it was fun talking to you guys. Yeah, you too. Yeah, nice meeting you.
first one of the day, kind of get the nerves out. What'd okay. you guys talk about? Uh, it's like same old, same old. They're from Nashville. Um, the weather changing. I think they were really cute. <laughs> Which one? Both of them? Both of them. You want to the... take them both on? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, but no, seriously, but... Who, who were you really interested in? I think the like, pink hair. Yeah. <laughs> she was really cute. And what about her did you like? No, she's pretty. <laughs> yeah. Um, pretty. Okay, so talk. because we don't have a lot of time together, yeah. we only really yeah. have two days, I really want to give you, I want to be able to give you the most actionable type of advice that I can. So when I set you off, you could really use it and it could really affect your life positively. Yeah. Right now, I really want to just get you on your Let's way because, I, okay. you know, when you go home, you're probably going to go back on Tinder or OkCupid <laughs> or something and go on some dates. And the thing that I would probably tell you to go from here to there in the shortest amount of time that would uh, set you up as uh, the leader in an interaction. You know, somewhere where a, a woman could look at you and be like, wow, he's really taking the lead here. It's like really attractive. I want you to start complimenting them. Okay. Okay? Now this is the type that's of thing. The, that's like, that's that level yeah. that really yeah. And I know that. And the reason why is because it, it shows vulnerability in you. When you show interest in a person, you put yourself up for judgment, right? Yeah. Because then it puts you in a place of getting rejected. If you just have nice, calm, you know, polite conversation, nobody could say, what the hell are you saying that for, right? You're just <laughs> a nice, you're just a nice guy, it's safe. So this is taking a little bit of a risk. And if you compliment them on their attractiveness, on their beauty, whatever you feel, Mm -hmm. in the interaction. I don't want to give you something contrived that you say to her, some canned line. That would be fake. I yeah. want you to feel it while you're listening, while you're interacting. When you look at her when you, and you feel something, I want you to actually say it in the interaction, right? Yeah. Um, how, do you feel, <laughs> how do you feel about that? That's terrifying, yeah. that concept, but mm -hmm. I think it's something that I need to learn to do. Yeah. You, well, you definitely have to do it. Yeah. So in any relationship, there needs to be an exchange of statements of interest, okay? Because those are also s implied statements of intention. Because when you s compliment somebody on the way that you're attracted to them, that's saying, I have intention of seeing you again because I like you. If you don't do that, that's communicating to them that you're not interested. This is all part of you growing to be a leader in relationships. Does that make sense? Scary, but it makes I know, sense. I know, it's very, I know. Very scary. The reason why I want to explain it to you like this in like kind of a rational way is because I want you to go, oh, okay, so like I understand why I have to do it. It's not just scary stuff he's telling yeah. me to do. So <laughs> all we're gonna do is we're just gonna find another okay. gal okay. you can talk to. And it may, even if it feels a little out of place for you right now, it may feel awkward. It may even come off a little like awkward in the interaction. <laughs> But I'm an awkward I, guy, so that's I, <laughs> I think we're all a little bit awkward. Yeah. But I mean, you're saying you don't want to give me like contrived no. ways to do it. I know. But I feel like I, okay, I guess I'll have to figure it out. But that's like, in my head, I feel like I almost need to have it planned out. Let's say, for instance, you meet a girl and you guys get in a relationship and then she goes, oh, that compliment you told me? You had that planned in advance to tell <laughs> any woman? Yeah. Think about that. Would yeah. you really want her to know that? Yeah. I want you to really truly say what you feel when you see her and that's when it's the most that's when it's the most authentic and that's when she feels it the most. If you just go, you're pretty, she's gonna <laughs> go, oh okay, so is everybody here. But when she feels it from you, that's what makes it different. That's what makes it real. Yeah? yeah? Okay. All right. All right. All right let's Doing go. it live. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm Mark. Yes. Nice to meet you. Well. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's a nice Sunday. It like, is. it's hard to complain. You're right. You're very right. Yeah. What brings you to Washington Square Park today? Um, I come here all the time. We yeah. just sit and hang out. Yeah. It's a perfect. People watch. Yeah. It's like the perfect spot. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say this is your favorite people watching spot? Oh, by far. Yeah. I think it's. I just feel like there's always like people playing music. There's there. so much to see. There. Yeah. There's so much. To see. There's like old people in like jam bands, oh, and then yeah. you have like little kids on scooters. Yeah. You get a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's awesome. Sure. I've been here like a year, and I think I'm still at the like, I'm still feel like in the like warming up phase. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gonna, it might wear off eventually, but I still love it. Yeah. It's what do you do? Uh, I'm a software developer. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? It's okay. It pays the bills. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. How about you? Um, I work for a school. Oh, cool. Actually. That's really cool. Doing what? 
administrative. Oh, I'm nice. chief of staff, so I'm oh, in charge that. of all the staffing and travel and all that. Oh, very cool. Gotcha. Is it like elementary? Uh, uh, no, it's elementary. actually for kids that have learning disability and oh. social issues. And That's awesome. What ages? Um, high school age. Very cool. Yeah. That's awesome. He was fine. He, I mean, eye contact is important. Made really good eye contact. <laughs> is that in Queens? It's in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. On the Commute. upper west side. Nice. So you commute in. <laughs> a little bit of a commute, but it's fine. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And that's been... Is that what you're going to do back in Chicago, too? No. I work in the music industry. Oh, nice. Chicago, but I'm trying to get out of that and do something a little more stable. That's fair. I could see... <laughs> Yeah, it's very rocky. Yeah, not being as consistent as... Right. So, it's, like, so I'm applying for jobs now, and then once I get one, I'm going to... Hightail it out of here and head back to Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very cool. Very nerve-wracking. Very nerve-wracking. It was, like, going normal, and then I had to do the, like, very unnatural to me, like, give her the compliment. You have a very cute smile, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Do you want to, like, okay. grab coffee or something? Sure. <laughs> I guess, like, you're not going to be here much longer, but could be, you know... Nice to meet up again. I don't know. It was Jess? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and call my phone. Perfect. I like that. It's the, the proof that <laughs> it was the real. It felt really awkward when I did it, but she seemed receptive to it. So that was cool. I think it like went well. I don't know. I was very excited. There you go. I got cool, it. cool. And it was Mark. Awesome. Jess, great to meet you. Yeah, you as well. We'll meet again. Have a good rest of your day. You too. I think it went well, personally. Yeah. Got the number, so that was exciting. Good. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> like, I, I gotta say something. Yeah. <laughs> when I was waiting for you to slip that compliment I know, in I know, I saw you looking, and I was like, I have to do it. I yeah. can't, I wanted to cop out and not do it. And yeah. I saw you looking, I was like, all right, I guess I have to do this. <laughs> I, I was like watching from I afar. I know, I know. But here's, here's the crazy thing. I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how he's gonna say it. But when you said it, I was like, damn, that was smooth. It I, felt, it I, felt I, awkward, it felt weird. But you looked really smooth. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling you, wow. like, what was it? It was talking about her smile I or said something? she looked really smile, yeah. Yeah, and it, like, it was, the great thing about it is like, a lot of people, when they compliment, they're like waiting for the response. Like, you have a cute smile, <laughs> you know? What do you think of that, you know? But you just yeah. said, oh, you have a really cute smile. So anyway, blah, 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 and you just kept going. And it was yeah. just—it was just really relaxed, and I—I I felt that she actually, she actually like saw it was authentic, you know. Yeah. I—I I feel like if I told you something planned, you would have it come off in this kind of like more routine acting way. Yeah. I don't think she would take it as positively. I like—I don't think she would believe it. Yeah. And what I really care about is that she actually believed it, like that she feels good, that she can go home and be like, man. I really do have a nice smile. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm so I'm so proud of you for that, buddy. And then the fact that you asked her out again, it's stressful. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, ah, I mean, like, you have to be mad at me if I don't do this. It's not weird. It's not necessarily creepy to go and like talk to a girl. It's not necessarily creepy to go and talk to the girl and uh, compliment her on something. You don't feel scared because it's a scary situation. You feel scared because it's a habit that you haven't gotten into your. Um, into your lifestyle yet. Yeah. So detach yourself from going, oh my God, this is scary. I need to leave. This is horrible. Say, this fear is supposed to be here. It's because I'm doing something yeah. new. I like that you said as a third party that it didn't look too awkward. <laughs> it, I think that was, it, in my it, mind, it's like, I don't know how it looked and I'm sure it was the most it, awkward it thing looked, in the world. It looked the opposite of not too awkward. It looked really smooth. Cool. You looked really good. All right, I, like I, I couldn't pull that <laughs> off. You did really well, buddy. Okay, so for the future, when you show vulnerability, that is confidence. Because vulnerability is putting yourself up for judgment. Only a confident person puts himself, his real self out there for judgment. When she sees that, she goes, wow, he doesn't have any guard up. That makes me feel more comfortable to let my guard down and be my real self. So you being vulnerable allows her to be vulnerable. And when you guys are in that place where you're connecting in a vulnerable way, where you're really finding chemistry with each other, that's when, when you show your interest in her then, that's when she really believes it. And that's when she actually will more likely to feel that attraction to you because you have that thing going. Yeah. If it's very polite and kind of like, oh, how are you doing today? 
and then and then you show your attraction, it's like, well, we haven't really connected yet. Yeah. So that's why vulnerability is so, so important from the start, just to, to keep it very practical in your head. Yeah. Black and white, so you don't get confused. Yeah. Right? When you're on, on a date, I just want you to focus on, if you feel attraction, I want you to say it. Not about her jacket or her shoes, yeah. about her as a person. Because that's where she really goes, wow, that, that feels really good, and, yeah. and I like that. And I don't think I would have been able to do it if someone isn't like, wasn't there pushing me. <laughs> so that was really cool to have that. And that's still the most mind-blowing thing to me, the takeaway is, yeah. is the, like, don't hide yeah. the fact that I'm attracted. <laughs> yes, you're not jumping one or two steps with this. You're jumping all the way. So like, basically what I wanna do is I wanna get you into a relationship as soon as possible, buddy. I don't want you, you know, like fiddling around for months and months until you get more comfortable, all right? So show your attraction in women if you find it. And I have a feeling that's what's gonna get you to the next level. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Bud. Hey. So give me a freaking hug. Okay. It's, so good to me it's so good meeting you, buddy. Yeah, nice to meet you too. All right, cool. Keep in touch with me. Call me anytime you need. Cool. Sounds All right. Great. All right, I'm getting out of here. Sounds good. Bye-bye. I had a great weekend coaching Mark. I think he is really going to take this advice and put it into action. I truly believe that in the next few weeks, he's gonna start dating somebody and potentially get into a relationship in the next month or two. I just see it in him. I just feel like he's that type of actionable guy that when he hears something, he just puts his mind to it and he goes and he does it. Plus, he has such a friendly, good vibe. I can't see why not any woman wouldn't want to get into a relationship with him, get to know him a little bit more. Um, so all in all, it was a great weekend. I had a lot of fun. I'm really excited to follow up with him and see what his dating life is in the near future. Hey, Anthony. It's been about three months since the show, and I've been using your tips out in the wild, like expressing my attraction to girls and being more flirtatious on dates. And I think it's actually working. Like I'm about to go head out on a third date with this girl, and I got a kiss on the second date, and things are going really well. And I don't know if I would have been in this position without you, man. So thank you, you're the best. Peace. <laughs>